Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just want to jump on real quick today. Uh, won't be too long. It'll be like a, another uh, another mini podcast. Uh, but just something was on my mind today. Something was on my mind. I was thinking about uh, developmental territories uh, for Impact Wrestling. And some of you may not know, and some of you may know, but a little over a year ago, they they entered into a partnership with OVW, Ohio Valley Wrestling. Um, Ohio Valley Wrestling um, being um, Impact Wrestling's developmental territory. I can't think of one individual that they brought up from this developmental territory. Who have they developed in, in over a year since they since they into this partnership i know i think they had a joint show on impact plush or or, or twitch um a, a joint impact ovw show but i can't think of anybody that they brought up from ohio valley wrestling uh in the in the course of the last year that is now on the main roster just, and and i'm looking at the i'm looking at the their roster and three names of the rosters were, uh, were part of Gut Check. So they brought three guys, Tony Gunn and uh, the two Khan brothers, uh, Maximus and uh, Leonis, I believe his name is. Name is they, they brought him up to Gut Check. And so uh, so they looked to OVW uh, to bring um, a couple guys up to Gut Check. Uh, but other than that, I, there's, there's nobody. I can't think of anybody that they brought up. And I'm thinking, why have a developmental territory if you're not going to develop new talent? It just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You know, what is the, the sole purpose of having a developmental territory is to develop new talent, new wrestlers, and so they would eventually they could come up and, and hopefully be stars for Impact Wrestling. But they haven't done that with anybody. You, you, mean, you look at NXT. Before NXT became its own, became its own little promotion, separate from from um, the main roster it was wwe's developmental the WW, wwe would would sign the wrestlers that they feel have a shot at being uh, stars on the main roster and they put them to nxt and they developed them this is what ovw is supposed to be doing for impact wrestling so i don't know who's at who's asleep at the wheel here but uh, this, this is this almost Almost laughable, almost ridiculous. I mean, they're they're bringing in guys like Sabu, and we saw we see Raven, Raven showing up, uh, Tommy Dreamer showing up every other week, uh, Rob Van Dam. We're seeing all these older ECW guys, and uh, I think it's time for them to invest in new, younger, exciting talent. Honestly, I think that's what the people want to see. Okay, I know if you want to bring in a legend here and there, that's fine, but. Let's let's bring in some younger guys. I know you just got Chris Bay, great signing there. Kylie Ray, another great signing. But it's time to bring in some new fresh faces to Impact Wrestling. And here's what they can do: one, okay, they're OVW. Uh, they have the developmental there. That's fine. We can leave that. Also, another idea: Scott Demore up here in Windsor, Ontario. He owns Border City Wrestling. Border City Wrestling is a uh, indie promotion up here. Um, they used to do shows like every every month, uh, but once uh, Scott Demore or every other month, uh, but once Scott Demore um, became involved with Impact Wrestling, those shows kind of declined, and it's it's very rare to see a Border City Wrestling show. I'm very very surprised. I'm very very surprised that Border City Wrestling is also not a developmental territory for Impact Wrestling, since Scott Demore has a vested interest in both Border City Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. I'm very surprised that he's not um, bringing in young talent because Ontario Ontario is chock full of young talent up here. And this could be the Canadian developmental territory for, for Impact Wrestling. I'm um, talking about Border City Wrestling. He could run a show every other month or every month or whatever you know bring in top guys you know showcase their skills let them you know, sign a contract a developmental contract with impact wrestling send them to border city wrestling let them develop their skills and when the time is right bring them into impact wrestling that's the way it's got to be done man that's the way you got to do it and i mean have a tv show yeah, I know OVW has a TV show, uh, but um, it's not a national TV show. I believe it's online. But ha but have a TV show. Have a Border City Wrestling. Um, you can even change the name. You know, Border City Wrestling, Impact Wrestling's Developmental or something of that nature. But but 
the, the, the bottom line is, you know, let, let's get this rolling. Let's start developing some new talent. Because, you know, I wonder, I wonder because I know Al Snow is the owner, um, going back to OVW, I know Al Snow is the, is the owner of um, Ohio Valley Wrestling. I wonder if he's not thinking, we're developmental for, for Impact Wrestling, but uh, I haven't heard of, about any new talent coming in that I need to train so Impact Wrestling. <laughs> So Impact Wrestling can get some new talent. I'm a little confused here. I, I don't. I just. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. And now they they do have um, some decent talent. Like I said, uh, there's Tony Gunn, who's the OVW Heavyweight Champion. And oh, this is interesting. The OVW Women's Champion that is actually Madison Rain. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. The 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 Impact Re- Impact Wrestling's developmental has an Impact Wrestling wrestler that's currently the the, the women's champion. Uh, so it's like it's like the, it's like they're doing the opposite. It's like it's almost like Impact Wrestling is is in this case Impact Wrestling is developmental for OVW because <laughs> you got Madison Rain who who belongs in Impact Wrestling, but she's the OVW women's champion. Yeah, I, that that also doesn't make sense. How are you going to develop new talent if you're just going to send one of your own wrestlers down from Impact uh, to be the <laughs> to be the champion in your developmental territory? That that, that doesn't make sense. But um, like I said, you got Tony Gunn as the heavyweight champion, very talented. You know, Tony Gunn of. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, he was in um, Gut Check and he uh, spit in the ring. He actually spit on Tyler Turver, that whole incident. Uh, if you watch Gut Check, you'll know what I'm talking about. But let's go. Let's get on the ball impact. Let's get some... Let's let's get rolling with this with this um with this developmental territory. Another an, an, another uh, territory that they could use. Another promotion they could use is Destiny Wrestling. Uh, George the Iceman has a relationship with Scott Demore. Uh, Destiny Wrestling here in in Ontario in um Toronto, based in Toronto, huge huge promotion out here. That could be another. They can make Destiny Wrestling a developmental. Uh, but what makes the most sense, like I said, is Border City Wrestling. And um, I, I guess you could argue the fact that I guess it's, it'll be a little, um, little too much for one man to um, to uh, put on uh, to produce shows for Impact Wrestling and for for Border City Wrestling. I understand that. So get somebody else. I'm sure he's got. Um, I'm sure he's got uh, someone or two or three people that that he trusts that he could have uh, run uh, shows up here uh, in Windsor for Border City Wrestling and to make it a um, the a developmental for Impact Wrestling. But whatever he does, whatever they do, they gotta get they gotta get they gotta get rolling, man. They gotta get started. They gotta start bringing in some fresh faces, some new talent, and um, again, I'm gonna end this by saying if you form a partnership with a promotion to be your developmental territory you gotta develop new talent you need to take advantage of that and develop new talent and bring them up and not just say all right we're doing a we're gonna do a gut check for 2020 uh for 2020 and um we're gonna let's just go to ove and find four guys to bring up uh, then we'll do gut check, and we'll see if we one of those guys will stick. That's that's not the way to do it, man. Now that that's I guess you can do it that way, but that's not the only way you should do it. I should say. You know, so let's get rolling, guys. Anyway, this has been. Um, and again, I'm saying this. Uh, I just want to say I'm saying this because I I feel very. I'm deeply attached to Impact Wrestling, and I just want to see them get better and better and better. And I feel that they're. Um, that there, this is an opportunity that they're missing. This is a huge opportunity that they're missing, and uh, I hope, um, I hope uh, they're doing some thinking during this uh, pandemic, and hopefully, um, things will change a little bit, and we'll see some new fresh talent sent to these developmental territories to develop, and they can bring them up to Impact Wrestling when they're ready. All right, that said, I just want to say thank you very much for listening today. Uh, My name is Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.